How do you look? Do look cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I was talking to your brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> yeah. You guys I'm got the glasses so, and kind of so jealous. I'm not so sure about George. <laughs> 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 but damn, man, uh, you're so cool. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. You guys got oh. your soul blockers on. I don't know. Hi, George. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Brent Miller Show. Here. Well, I, officially, I screwed even my own name up. Brent Miller Voice Show. Hey, you've got cool glasses. You too. Hi, George. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming up. No, no problem. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Hanging out with the Fold. Oh, yeah. Did I ever think that was e going to even be possible? Hey. Like, things happened, and now we're in the same circle of... Land. Thanks to these guys, I, I feel like I'm going to hurl right now. If you go mm. check out their channel, they have a food challenge on there and I had to, like seriously, um, the mushy spinach, I, I, um, <laughs> I actually don't feel like almost barfing right now thinking about it. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm going to, I swear I'm going to lose <laughs> subscribers when they see how mushy I was with that spinach. <laughs> so you guys delicious. manhandled that spinach like it was nobody's business. <laughs> there's, a, there's a giant who works on the show, his name is Jay Vincent, and he literally inhaled a can of spinach. Uh, it's beautiful. I don't, I, so if it's okay with you guys, I don't want to talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's <laughs> First of all, congratulations on having amazing... <laughs> amazing... <laughs> that was a fly. Amazing songs uh, throughout the <laughs> That was good! <laughs> uh, having amazing songs for all these seasons. Like, oh, And thanks. to be able to remix... How many official remixes do we have? Want to say five? I mean... It would either be five or six. We didn't really start doing the remixes um, for every season, so yeah. The Whip. Six total, probably, including the original. Just more along the line, they started uh, hiring us to remix our own songs, which I think is completely against the rules of a remix. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. What, okay, what is it called then? Uh, mix Mix? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did a mix mix of our mix on the rebooted season. I love that one. And mm. it's, it goes so well with the, well, the computer. We yeah. didn't do that one actually. That was uh, DJ Michael AM, which was we just heard it and we were like, "This is unbelievable." You didn't yeah. do it? No, that was something that, that was got the first sent one out. That yeah, really started to make. We started to realize, "Whoa, these are cooler than the original." In wow, that is that, and I feel stupid because I'm like giving kudos to this thing you didn't <laughs> do. Uh, what's the process of writing the first Ninjago theme song? Yeah, um, that was just kind of a, a song that was kicking around for years. Mike Kramer mentioned that he knew a kid from home, which his home was Chicago, he, he had just moved here to LA, uh, who could be a good voice for this this theme song. And so uh, we literally just kind of we in the studio went in the, the studio time. one day and, and, and put it to music and uh, that demo was in your whole first season, which was a little embarrassing because I would, it was like an hour of my life that I spent on really? that. Really? They, yeah. they didn't go back and read no, the instrumental. like, hey, well, no, no, the TV. instrumentals were, yeah, they were really loose and kind of like a demo mode, really. And then uh, we flew out to Denmark and watched the first episode. Yeah. And uh, was then that like? was that it was like? unbelievable. We yeah. were like drinking tea <laughs> and they were explaining how the, um, it was like a 3D cartoon and it was like way beyond anything we thought it would be. Yeah. So we watched it, and we were just like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah. And then uh, later we went back and did all the production and re-recorded everything. And uh, Chris yeah. Lord Algae, who's like the most like legendary mixing artist of all time, like mixed it. Wow. So that yeah, was pretty that huge. Yeah, that was surreal, because he's one of those guys that's like, man, will we ever like have that song that gets mixed by him? Like, pe a really? band will pay $1,000 for a normal mix, and fifty thousand dollars for him to mix one song really so when he remixed the weekend whip it was like ding. yeah yeah <laughs> so if you go back and listen to the original season Dream come true. you could hear the difference we kind of foldified it and like did our thing on the song and kind of made it our own how much ninjago have you actually seen every episode yeah really? yeah yeah you really for sure yeah yeah well and how then, long does that take like to start a piece we well, always try to start as soon as we can you guys haven't even come in and done things yet and we'll read the scripts and we'll both kind of go back and forth and text about it we'll write down like cool um, ideas or things that pop in our head yeah and then we kind of get the idea of what they're going for and then we do three or yeah. four songs who comes <laughs> up with the cool ideas uh, I'd say we're a Lennon McCartney in that way. Yeah. I think there's yeah. been seasons where it's, it's So it's you, right? That <laughs> <year>. <laughs> I'm uh, 
But George, he's we, the McCartney. We, I'd be more the We appreciate your, that you're here, George. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an honor. Like I was saying, the torture. Maybe Dan can lend you some glass. Here, do you want to? Do you want to? <laughs> yeah, they look cool on you guys. I feel kind of left I'm just, out. But. I'm just wrestling him. He's awesome. Hey, I made here. guac. He makes a mean guac. Which ninja are you most like? Yeah, I don't know how this happened, but uh, I think I identified with Kai because he was the early front runner. So it was like, well, I want to be him because he's the he's the cool, funny guy. I'd be Jay just because I'm kind of a hammy guy. Like I make corny jokes all the time, and <laughs> my favorite color is blue. Who do you <laughs> identify with? Um, okay, we're turning this on me, or I'll, okay? I'm actually a cross between Jay and Zane. <laughs> so like I can be the J in the life of the party, but I can yeah. also be the guy that doesn't need to be at mm. the center of attention. Just the introverted and, extra. Yeah, I'm kind it. of an ambivert <laughs> from what I've read. What is that? Amb it's both. So like you could, depending on the situation, like you're saying, you could yeah. be one of the so other. Yeah, so we're we're ambiverts. Oh, and yeah, you, we're you ambiverts. can live in water or dry land, right? Amphibians. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, we're amphibians. <laughs> Take that. How do you come up with your lyrics? It's always great for me to attach to like a theme. Like sometimes I would just write down notes in my phone. Like I think after the blackout came like that. Like it, I don't know if it said it in the script, but it was just like like big, big ideas. Like after the blackout would be one, the ninja roll. I was like, I could write that song. You know, it's mm -hmm. like. That, that chorus just popped out when I saw the title. Right. So that helps a ton. And uh, we, we ri like writing like that, where it's almost like there's an assignment, grab, you know, these huge nuggets. You both do that, and then you, come, you throw ideas at each other? Is that what yeah, you Yeah, sometimes we'll start with like a, like a voice memo and a chorus, and then we'll kind of like read the scripts and draw from that a little bit. Sometimes it'll cool. be like, a, there's always a theme for every season, you know? So like you were saying, Rebooted was like, let's make this all kind of a digital feeling. So right. we did the full digital and uh, We Are Ninja. We take it super seriously, you know, and yeah, we, uh, we think it's like an honor to be doing what we're doing. And do, do a lot of songs get thrown away? Or you just go, ah, that's not working, and you move on? Or do you pretty much have something from the get-go? There's a few um, that we've done that didn't get used. One was actually about you. Mm. Your son didn't uh, make it. You did a song about Brent Miller? Well, uh, <laughs> Guys, exactly. I knew it. We did oh, one, man. what was it, about him and Pixel. It was like a Pixel love song. Pixel with an A, yeah. So there it didn't really song, fit, man. but it would be cool to show you at some point. Do you ship Do you ship it? Ship it? Yeah, like Zane and Pixel, do you ship it? I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is that? You, know, you ship it. Is that like an ship internet it. lingo? Ship, ship it, ship it. You ship See, it. I'm not up to date with all that stuff, yeah. uh, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> then together as a couple, romantically. I think it's you bae. Shit. Do you shit bae? That's the thing? It's bae. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> you don't start writing to animation at all, right? Uh, sometimes it's loosely animated, but we know in the end it's going to look awesome. So right. kind of, yeah. yeah, it'll be half and half sometimes. Does the time, so they say you have exactly two minutes or exactly 30 seconds here, or do they give that to you? Nothing like that. There's no, it's been always... assignments like that. Like oh, when yeah, we, yeah. Ninja Roll, for example, was in, you know, a three minute block of the skating scene. Remember in the, in the yeah, skate rink? Yeah, that was awesome. So that was tricky because then it's like, we're like really writing to an animation that's that's done. Yeah. We, we can't change it. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. true. So yeah, that was I forgot tricky. How, that was tricky. We were yeah. speeding up our tempo here, slowing it down there. That was a fun but one. But you did it. Yeah. yeah. It took like a year off my life. <laughs> How'd you start your band? It started in like 2005, really. It was when we really were like, all right, let's do this. Um, but we we were signed with a label pretty early uh, out of Seattle called Tooth and Nail. Mm -hmm. um, and we just like hit the road. That That's the most I think I've ever toured. Yeah, I was in uh, my own band called Michael Lane, which was like just the punk band, you know. And Sweet. Yeah, we did that for a number of years. Just the same period. Band. Yeah, yeah. Great punk rock. Yeah, we were a cool punk band. And that, that was the thing. It, it never felt right to pull him out of that, even though like we've always been like each other's kind of musical you know, I, I don't want to say muse because that sounds romantic. Counterpart. <laughs> we we think we each share like half a brain, right? In a yeah. way, so things Dan thinks of, I would never think of, and vice versa. And okay. yeah, we complement each other. Nice music. So we're not so smart officially. <laughs>